store today and I want to make a quick video just to talk to you guys about food storage. I've always leaned towards uh, homesteading over prepping. Uh, I don't think one is better than the other or vice versa. Uh, for me I rather uh, set myself up that we can actually produce food over the long term, cut our own wood, uh, do all that kind of stuff over the long term. I have neglected food storage and I'm really thinking that I maybe should at least work on our short-term food storage. So I really started to feel like, you know what, I'm not gonna go full-on prepper and have tons and tons of food, but I do wanna work on my short-term food storage. So what I mean by that is basically, short period of time, like say two to three months, um, I wanna make sure that I have enough food, or at least the basics, uh, to be able to survive and to do okay uh, if we can't get to the store very much in three months. So with everything that just happened and the way things are going, um, I'm thinking it's kind of important. So we reworked the pantry shelving so we can store a little more food in there. Uh, I kind of want to make sure that it's a little bit uh, neat and tidy because my wife appreciates that. Um, and we're able to put most of the food in the pantry or in the cold storage downstairs. So working on the short-term food storage, um, one of our big problems was we have these big bags of flour like whole wheat and white flour and oats and it's kind of hard to store. Uh, so we thought, what are we going to do? So I decided to look, we looked for pails with, you know, screw on lids and surprisingly they're hard to find right now and um, probably because a lot of people are purchasing them to store food because they see what's coming too. Um, but we were able to find what we call pet food uh, pails and on the Amazon thing, it says it was FDA approved. They're going to be definitely better and better sealed than a normal pail. We ordered them. They came in about four days. Uh, so what we're going to do is open it up and I'm going to show you what I got. So there you go. They are actually pet food pails, but on Amazon they said that they're FDA approved. Uh, they're BPA free. Keeps your high quality pet food fresher and longer, 20 pounds. Airtight engineering controls moisture um, balance, pet proof, uh, food safe, and BPA free. So this seems very weird to actually use pet food containers for your own food, but it does say food safe and BPA free, so um, that's what I'm going to go with. This unscrews and it lifts off and it comes with a little cup and they actually have a nice soft seal. Um, so when you tighten it up, it seals nice and sturdy, so it looks good. And I like the fact it just doesn't say pet food over the whole thing and that it's actually food safe. So we got three of them. Uh, one for white flour, one for uh, whole wheat flour, and one for oats. Um, we've got other containers that are holding flour and everything, the ones that we kind of use when we actually bake. If I have these full and the other containers full, we'll actually have a lot of flour for a long time. So we can bake bread and do that kind of stuff and bake for a long time um, before having to go back at the store. I kind of don't want to go too crazy with uh, storing too much stuff. You have to do more things to keep the food fresh longer. So this way, we're definitely going to go through the flour and we're definitely going through the oats. And if we keep rotating through it, we should have a good amount stored up if anything happens.
I got all-purpose flour here. It's a smaller bag, so it should fit in there. We normally buy the big bags of oats, but these were a really good deal, so we bought a few boxes of them. These actually hold quite a bit. These bags are actually pretty big for these bags. Fill one of these pails. So there you go, the pails work great. Uh, we've been spending a bit of money lately, but I've been trying to keep a handle on it. Uh, I'm trying to spend money on things that we're gonna get benefit for, stuff that will hold food, stuff that will uh, make me able to make more money with the chicken coops and different stuff that we already have out, uh, which is really important. At some point, I know that the economy is not gonna handle this, and I wanna get in my head that uh, we're probably gonna have to stop spending very shortly. So we're gonna keep that in our head and not go crazy, um, but um, it is very hard. You know, you start seeing stuff that you need to do and everyone wants to just get out and get it all done. The main issue is you don't wanna go into debt. I'm living with very little debt. Uh, we are, um, we're always people that just didn't have debt. So don't be going out and spending more money than you can afford uh, because this isn't the time to do it. Um, I'm feeling that in the next couple months it's probably going to get bad uh, with the economy. I hope it's not true, but you just never know. So just keep in mind, uh, whatever you do, make sure you just don't go into debt. This isn't the time to be getting into debt. So uh, that's about enough for today, and you guys have a good one.